Hey guys. Well, I'm going to get my eyebrows re microbladed or touched up. So, uh, yeah, I thought I would take you along. It's going to be probably about an hour process, and I'm hoping that I can film it while she does it. I mean, I know I can, but, you know, it's a process. I thought about bringing my, um, uh, tripod but then it's like maybe that'll be too much so I'm just gonna hold the camera up and film it so I get dressed there's a cold front running through so there's that I'm sweating from chasing after the puppy so there is that I'm turning everything off but I know it'll be cold in her room so I'm holding that really close, aren't I? Um, my son's going to come and take the dog out while I'm gone. But she's going to cry. She's going to cry because Gigi, which is me, has been spoiling her rotten all week. And now she don't understand. So that's going to be fun. But I won't be here, so score. All right. I gotta get on the road because it's about a 30 minute drive. So, and the weather's bad. I so said a cold front uh, came through. Yeah. What in the weather? Come on. Just be hot already. Okay, so I'm about half an hour early. I'm trying to get the camera angle where you can see me. Okay, so I'm about a half an hour early. And uh, I was just going to explain a little bit about why I'm doing this because, you know, if you just look at my eyebrows, they just look like normal eyebrows. I have what they call um, Hashimoto's disease, which is a low thyroid disease, and it decreases the hair on my body. So, like, I have zero hair on, like, my arms and legs and stuff. So. I'm, I'm fairly hairless except for my head. Thank you, Jesus. I still have my hair on my head. But, um, and then the hair that I do have is blonde, believe it or not. Uh, lots of blonde hair. So, I really get this to enhance the hair that I have on my eyebrows already. And, um, it is not a fun process to do this, but it's like a touch up once a year once you get it done. It's been about a year and almost about a year and a half. And I don't think my eyebrows look too bad now, but I, uh, I definitely have to get the touch up so that it, it doesn't cost me to have the whole process redone. So I grabbed me some Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna eat real quick. I have about a half an hour and it's just right down the road here. So I went ahead and drove over the bridge um this weather is just crazy it's raining and it's it's 63 degrees it's the middle of march it should not be 63 degrees in texas so very crazy my eyes are watering which stinks since i know that she does a lot of filming for her um instagram which is the letter I Brows B R O W S 911, I believe. I'm gonna look it up. Eyebrows 911, I believe, is her. I believe that's it. 411 or 911. I will link it below. Four one one, so it's I B R O W S four one one, and she'll be putting the befores and afters. I don't know why it's saying I don't have internet. I don't need internet for McDonald's. Thank you. I'm sitting outside of McDonald's, and it wants to try and connect to that. So yes, um, she does have an Instagram page. And um, 
I should be on there at some point, I think. People are driving really slow around me. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm doing nothing out of the ordinary. I'm vlogging and I'm eating Chick-fil-A. Who doesn't do that? Right? I mean, that's totally normal. That's a totally normal Thursday, right? Got me some unsweet iced tea. With the bird on it. Yep, I'm vlogging. Hi. How's it going? Vlogging in the Walmart parking lot by McDonald's. Anyway, the process, like I said, it's slightly painful, but she does numb it. And maybe, you know, maybe it won't be as painful, but the first time it was like, it was not fun. And then the second time, it was really not fun. So, this will be my third time. Because you do get the brows done she microblades them by making little small cuts precision cuts to mimic the eyebrow hair and then she uh, applies the um, it's not paint the ink um, pardon me try not to sniffle all over you she lets that set and then she applies some more ink and does some more cuts and then finally you know after it's set a while it takes all in all about an hour or two to get it all done um, and they turned out really beautiful and the worst part was the itching after that and then I had to go back a month later and get my first touch up so that that was not really fun but I got through it and now I'm going for my next touch-up I have put it off as long as I can but some of the ink has faded out finally but it took a year and a half and I was really very happy with not having to put stuff on my eyebrows to enhance them and now I'm having to pencil them back in so I'm um, I don't know if that's like a uh, a vanity thing but I do look like an alien when this is not on my eyebrows. I'm gonna go eat and then I'll check back in and hopefully I can feel my I'm in the chair. So you're putting the numbing stuff on now? Yes. This is the um, topical lidocaine numbing cream. Ah, my favorite part. <laughs> part that doesn't hurt. Right. <laughs> I've been talking about how much I hated the the pain. I'm not a pain person. I'm not either. And there's no need. I mean, no. I know pain makes beautiful, right? But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like my people to be comfortable. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. So, she's the magic guru. We're gonna get this done. Hopefully, my eye will quit leaking for you for your pictures. Well, we're not doing eyeliner, so you'll be okay. Yeah, I probably couldn't handle eyeliner. Seriously. we we'll get my eyelashes done and... Right light. Is that going to affect filming? Uh -uh. No, no, no. Okay. Because I can turn it off, but this kind of heats it up a little bit. Oh, no. We're good. You do you. Okay. Uh, I got my eyelashes done, and then I, I was like, oh... I got them done several times and they looked really great and puts an under eye patch under my eye to for the dark circles and it ended up having a severe allergic reaction so yeah I was I was uh, not able to wear my lashes after that To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Let's 
give it a try. Don't have my eye up. All right, we're starting. Here we go. And I'm not gonna watch. <laughs> so hopefully I'm in frame. First pass. I always try to go a little bit lighter. To get, and then we go back with some uh, secondary numbing to get into the open skin. It, it starts numbing even quicker. Marks, beauty queens with final flaws. You can do better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better Some of that might be out of frame just because I was closing my eyes whenever she did it. Um, hopefully this gave you an idea of whether or not you want to go get your eyebrows microbladed. But I love the results and it took a year and a half before any of it even started fading even a little bit. So it is worth the money and worth the money for the touch-ups. Love it so much. Love Shanna. If you live in my area, go see her. Hit her up on Instagram. It is eyebrows411 on Instagram. She's the best. 
Also guys, if you're new here, I hope that you will subscribe and that we can be friends. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that whenever I do get a chance to post videos that you do not miss out on any of my videos. And I love for us to talk, so be sure and leave a comment below.